Hello students, this is Arjuna Pandey. How are you all? Hope you all are good and fine, beta. In today's class, we are going to discuss question answer from the chapter number 11 in our history subject. Okay? And Our first question is match the following. Match the following. So here we have to match these words. Okay. Stupa. Pradakshina Pat. Okay. And because these are the important words which we used in our ancient times, and these words are very important. Okay. So uh, we match. Stupa with mound. Okay. Mask stupa with mound. Okay. Stup is just like mound means ila. Okay. The second word shikara mask with tower. Okay. Shikara mask with Tower. This word used in temple. Okay. The upper portion of the temple is known as Shikhar. And now it is our third word is Mandapa. And Mandapa mass with place in temples where people could assemble. Okay. Mandapa Man's with place in temple where people where people could assemble.
clear so mandapa meant with place in a temple where people could assemble aisa place jahan par kisi bhi mandir mein uh, people assemble hote hain okay that is called as mandapa clear beta and now our next word is garbhagriha and garbhagriha maps with place where the image of the deity is installed okay ye aisa place hota hai jahan par kisi bhi devi devta ki murti ko sthapit kiya jata hai okay that was that was called as garbhagriha so garbhagriha maps with place where the image where the image of the deity is installed okay where the image of deity is stop and now our next word is pradakshina path next word is pradakshina path and pradakshina path obviously melts with circular path around the stupa okay pradakshina path known as circular path around the around the stupa okay so pradakshina path means will circular path around the stupa किसी भी स्तूप के जो चारों तरफ का सर्कुलर पार्ट होता है दैट इज कॉल्ड प्रदक्षिणा पर ओके नाउ यू कैन टेक स्क्रीन शॉट okay now we are moving to the next question and it up our next question is fill in the blanks fill in the blanks our first fill in the blanks is dash was a great astronomer okay first fill in the blanks is dash was a great was a great astronomer about gods and goddesses are found in the stories stories about gods and goddesses are found in are found 
in the dash and third fill the blanks is dash is recognized as the author of the Sanskrit Ramayana okay dash is recognized as the author of the Sanskrit Ramayana dash is recognized as the author of the Sanskrit Ramayana. Okay. And now fourth fill the blank is dash and dash are two Tamil epics. Okay. Dash and again dash are two Tamil Tamil epics. Okay. Now we are going to fill this. So who was the great astronomer? And now the third in the blanks dash recognized as the author of the Sanskrit Ramayana, and the name of that person is Valmiki. Okay, Valmiki is recognized as the author of the Sanskrit Ramayana. And Sri Tulsi Das is recognized as the author of Ram Charit Manas. Okay? So Ramayan and Ram Charit Manas, though Allah Allah books hai. Okay? And the fourth fill in the blanks is Dash and Dash are two Tamil epics. So in first dash, see the padikara, okay? See the padikara, and money make a life, and money. Mani Meghlai are two Tamil epics. Clear? I hope now you all clear about these few other blanks. Now you can take a screenshot. Now Vita you can take a screenshot. Last is Silapati Karam and Mani Meghlai are two Tamil Epics. Clear?
okay now fill in the blanks is completed we are moving to the extra questions okay extra questions from the chapter 11 and beta in extra questions our first question is when was the iron pillar made okay when was the iron pillar made extra questions and answer question first is when was the iron pillar made when was the iron pillar made and here is the answer answer number 1 the iron pillar was made was made about 1500 years ago Okay, fifteen hundred years ago. So now our answer is completed. The iron pillar was built about fifteen hundred years ago. Okay, and beta. Now our second question. Question number second in the extra questions is, what do you mean by the word stupa? okay the second question in extra questions is what do you mean by the word stupa what do you mean by the word stupa okay and here is the answer of question number 2 the word stupa means Among it is a it is a Buddhist it is a Buddhist religious. building okay it is a buddhist religious building clear so here is our second question what do you mean by the word stupa aap stupa word se kya jante hain and here is the answer the word stupa mean a man okay man means shila it is a buddhist religious building okay so stupa is a buddhist religious building clear okay now you can take a screen shot of both question answer
ओके बेटा सो नाउ टुडे आवर क्लास इज ओवर वी विल कंटिन्यू द एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन आंसर इन आवर नेक्स्ट क्लासेस ओके सो थैंक यू क्लास